Hi everyone, it's Arlen. Welcome back to your first million. I'm in New York right now. You may have seen online on my Instagram and LinkedIn that I've been in New York for a few weeks and I will be here for a few more weeks. Off and on, let's say 50% of the time until early July because I'm working on a really cool play called Prima Facey. Uh, starring Jodie Comer from Killing Eve. If you know, you know. Go look it up. Go look up primafaceyplay.com. Look at my posts that I've posted. Very excited about it. And you're going to hear a lot more about it on this podcast. But I wanted to use this time actually to talk about a different media project that I'm working on um, that you may remember from last year. It's called The Valley. It's a fiction podcast with immersive sound and I talked about it a lot last year because I was just so in love with it still in love with it very obsessed with it um I so I co-created this podcast I had this idea a few years ago to have somewhat of a soap opera in audio form you all know how much I love my general hospital and if you don't know now you know And I thought, wouldn't it be cool to have um, something in audio form? I even thought General Hospital itself could be in audio form uh, in addition to its video form, but that's a whole different story. Don't know if that's possible, but I always thought that 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 was interesting. So I created this idea of a series like this, like The Valley, and then just brought in the most amazing, talented, creative people that I could find and they have put together just I just can't tell you how impressed I am and excited by this project um they just put together the most wonderful podcast series so it's fiction it is um professional actors who are acting and recording it um it's SAG uh, affiliated if you're familiar with that it's a full-on production and it's about Silicon Valley and some of the things that go on behind the scenes. So I'm not going to give away too much because I'm actually going to play the first episode in just a moment here. But I want you to know that we we had season one last year and it was like a an independent project. But Realm, Realm, uh, the distribu- distributor who has put out things like the Orphan Black reboot and um, several episodes of of content that I listen to, mostly fiction. Um, Actually, I think it might all be a fiction except for their fan uh, podcast, but they just are really top, top notch and they fell in love with the, the Valley too. So they picked it up and it's being distributed by them. So what we did was we are relaunching season one so that more people can hear it for the first time. Or if you heard it before the episodes are longer now so it's the same content but the episodes are longer it comes out Tuesdays and Thursdays now and so the twists and turns are different than they were the first time you listened to it and honestly I listened to it several times last year for different reasons and I still enjoy listening to it again as if it's the first time I'm very invested um, figuratively in and definitely literally, but figuratively invested in these people's lives. <laughs> it is just like my general hospital in that I care about what happens to them every single week. Um, and so, like I said, Tuesdays and Thursdays, there are, as of recording now, which is what, May 4th, um, there are four episodes, but they're again, they're longer episodes out. So really good, deep into the story. You can still catch up, though. Uh, You may need like 40 or so minutes to catch up, and you'll be all good. And if you've listened to season one already, I would say this is a really awesome new way to experience it. So make sure that you go back and re-listen. And then just kind of remind yourself of the twists and turns so that you're ready and get caught up. Because season two, which has already been recorded, is coming out in mid-May, which is just a few days away, by the way. (laughs) It's coming out very, very soon, and it has never been released before. And you're going to love it. If you thought that season one was wild, which you will, um, just wait till you hear what we have in store for Cam, Sadie, Alicia, Nellie Nelson, (laughs) all these people that are like, this is new IP, right? This is new context and content 
And yeah, it's very exciting. So I'm also going to be co-hosting um, a behind the scenes episode that's going to drop in between seasons one and two. And I'll make sure that you all hear about that. But um, I just wanted you to know about it. I wanted you to get excited about it. This is ours. This is like, this belongs to you too. And so I want you to get really excited about it and learn these characters, learn the storyline. All you do is you listen to episode one. It's 10 minutes long. If you get hooked, then, you, you know, it's all good, right? And, and if you don't, then it's you just, you spent 10 minutes and you can move on. But I would really check it out. You go, I'm going to play the first episode now. So stay here and I'll play that. But then to catch the rest of the episodes, you go to Spotify, Apple, wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. You can go to the realm.fm website. Um, you go wherever you listen to it and then subscribe so that every Tuesday and Thursday it is at the top of your of your uh, playlist. And you have to let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Send me messages on um, Instagram or LinkedIn. I'm not really checking Twitter these days, but the rest of it, just get in touch with me. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think is happening. Like, give me a little bit of like your preview of what you think is going to happen next. We're in this together. I'm listening to it in real time again because I am obsessed. Okay, let me know what you think of this first episode. I'm in pain from being numb. It's like my life has just begun. Welcome to the Valley. Money. It makes the world go round. Which must be fun if you've got it, but for the rest of us, not so much. I've spent my whole life being poor, which is why it's actually astonishing that I've ended up here, in the lavish home of Kyler and Nellie Nelson. The Nelsons are the creme de la creme of Silicon Valley. The richest, mightiest, most powerful, don't forget most photogenic, they're the most, period. Even with a name that sounds like a Polly Pocket knockoff, Nellie Nelson reigns supreme. As for me, I don't belong here at the Nelsons' compound, but Sadie does. And I made certain to become Sadie's plus one, it was a lot of work making sure that we accidentally bumped into each other on campus. What may have looked like some random meet-cute from one of those old Julia Roberts movies my mom loved was actually a carefully calculated plan on my part. And now that I'm here, it's time to get to work. Is that a Banksy? Yes. And that's Basquiat's Untitled hanging over there. The original. It's the crown jewel of their collection. Wow, now that's some real Nelson money on display right there. You too could live like this. All you have to do is launch the world's most lucrative social media network right out of college. Mm, when you put it like that, it's so easy. Maybe this computer science degree I'm working on will come in handy after all. Well, just ask anyone here. All the big names on Bump's cap table are present tonight. <laughs> Should I pretend I understood that? All the big early investors. Mm. Champagne, ladies? Yes, two please. There you go. Okay, these are the people that scored pay dirt with the biggest social media platform ever. They're easy prey for Nellie and Kyler's second platform launch. Hindsight bias, right? Right, but you should know that one of those investors is my father. Oh, this is an introducing my very new girlfriend to my dad kind of party. I guess it is now. Is that okay? Sure. Doesn't look like I have much of a choice, does it? He was supposed to be out of town, but that's okay. I can roll with the punches. Good, because... There's my Sadie. And this must be the little lady my daughter can't stop talking about. Cam, is it? I wouldn't say can't stop talking about. I can stop talking. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Fisher. Call him Dwayne. Mr. Fisher's fine, till we get to know one another. You've made quite an impression, and the semester's just started. You two barely had time to crack open your books, and she's already got you into the most exclusive party in town. Daddy, keep talking like that, and I'm not telling you anything again. Oh, just making observations. Where do you come from, Cam? The East Coast. Boarding school, to be specific. Mmm, and how did you do there? Weighted, 5.0 GPA. Unweighted, enough that Latham offered me a substantial scholarship. And to think, if you'd just been average, you'd never have made it here. 
on the arm of a sweet, trusting, wealthy young woman like my daughter. Dad! You know what? I need to find the ladies' room. I don't blame you. It's around the corner from the Basquiat. Don't get lost. It's a big house. Thank you for your concern, Mr. Fisher. Should I strap her to a chair so you can waterboard her next time? I'm a protective father. And if I can be frank, she seems a little too perfect to me. After everything I've been through, don't you think I deserve too perfect? Excuse me. Sorry. Pardon me. Doubtful I won over Daddy Dearest, but that's okay. He's not why I'm here. Sorry, Sadie, but I came to burn this place down. Which means I'll have to brave getting lost in this giant mansion. Every fire starts with a spark, and I've brought a whole box of matches. Hello? Hello? Nice. Now let's see, where in this house would I be if I was the most powerful couple in Silicon Valley, avoiding all the guests in my party? I think I'd definitely be up these stairs. Or maybe... What are you doing here? Hey, it's... Jet, right? It is. Not that it's any of your business. I'm Cam. I came with Sadie Fisher. I know. Why are you here? Oh, this guy. I've seen him buzzing around Nelly when I was doing some recon. He's her guard dog assistant, and if he's here, she can't be far off. Guests of the party are expressly prohibited from exploring the house. You know, I was just looking for the restroom, and look, there's one right there behind you. Fancy that? It's funny because there are lots of restrooms in the party where you're supposed to be, but you're here. Exactly what you're not supposed to be. Almost like you're looking for Kyler or Nellie. Oh, the Nelsons. I, I mean, I would love to meet them, but... But you're not going to meet them. You're the plus one of the daughter of one of their investors. You're nobody. And it's my job to make sure that nobody bothers them. So, hurry along back to the party. There are bathrooms there. Wow. There's Rude, and then there's this guy. I was actually looking for a more discreet restroom. It's kind of a sensitive thing. You know, female-specific. Did you catch my drift? I grew up with a single mom and three sisters. You can say you're having your period around me. Great! I'll just dip into this bathroom real quick. There's you're the best. There's the restrooms where the party's at. It's... Went looking for the Nelsons, ended up in a bathroom. Luckily, I can use this to my advantage. Ah, yes, just as I thought. They are completely dependent on their smart home. But the thing about a smart home is it's not much help when the person hacking it is smarter. This should be fun. And wow, really easy. For rich tech people, it looks like they skimped on their firewall security. Meaning... Smoke detected in wing five. Huh. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Unless there's me, you know, making up the smoke. I won't call myself a hacker because, hello, it's the 21st century and that title is so 1990s, but you could say I speak fluent technology. Smoke detected the... in wing five. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow, that smoke sounds like a fire alarm. I... Where's wing five? It's on the other side of the property. It doesn't concern you. Hmm. Is it your responsibility to check it out before any of these really fancy guests catch wind or fire? You just stay put. I'll be right back. Of course. Hello? Yes, I'm sure it's a false alarm. I'm headed there now. And just like that, Jet's flown the coop, which means I'm free to go digging for dirt on Kyler and Nellie Nelson. Walking through a rich person's house is surreal. 
like they live in a museum. Not that I've been in many museums myself, and I've been in even fewer mansions belonging to the uber-rich. Maybe my parents could have made it, pulled themselves up by their bootstraps, and launched themselves out of the lowest tax bracket, but thanks to the Nelsons, they'll never have the chance. That is not going to be you, babe. If he talks, he talks. I'm not worried about Dwayne Fisher, of all people. I can handle him. Oh, you're not? Didn't you just ask me to take care of him? That sounds like someone who was worried. I definitely should not be hearing this. Two of the most powerful people in the world having a closed-door conversation about getting rid of my girlfriend's dad. Not exactly what I was snooping for, but maybe this is exactly what I needed. But also, is this what getting in over your head feels like? Asking for me. Kyler! We have more important things to worry about! Please, do tell. The closer we get to the launch of Phoenix, the more I feel like I can't trust anyone. Like every secret I have is waiting to be exposed. You can trust me. Of course I trust you. But our circle has shrunk so much, there's hardly anyone else. This is exactly the kind of intel I was hoping to get. Now, I just need to know. I know you don't think this is the bathroom. Oh, Jet, I'm so glad you're here. I doubt that. In fact, I think this is going to be something you seriously regret. Jet, what the hell is going on here? This is an unwanted guest. I'm seeing that she's taken care of. How long have you both been standing there? I just got here. What about her? What did you hear? Okay, never mind the question earlier. This is absolutely what getting in over your head feels like. 